Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology Channel. And, uh, well, the posts about the uh, disappearing solid-state drives, or SSDs, on Windows 11 with uh, the August update has really been uh, controversial in many ways. A lot of people are still convinced that uh, Windows Update is the problem, and it is not. And uh, I, I, I could see all the people that are in conspiracy mode in, in all of this with, you know, even people suggesting that I got paid by Microsoft to say things, which is absolutely false. Uh, this is a channel where there's honest talk about things. And what happens is that it's difficult sometimes to, um, you know, there are, Several things happening at the same time. The Windows update, you remove the Windows update, things work fine. So people immediately jump on Windows, on Microsoft. Microsoft's own reputation is definitely not helping in situations like this because people are, you know, not, they don't trust. So um, I'll, I'll share an article from uh, The Verge which is very, very interesting and explains in great detail the whole story of the SSD drives disappearing. And uh, a lot of people, you know, jumped on Jay's Two Cents videos and saying, look at that, that guy knows what he's doing. Well, he didn't because he had to actually come back and say, well, okay, I updated the firmware and the problem's gone. So it is not a Windows update issue and never was. And Chase Two Cents even mentions that he was using a motherboard where the BIOS was still a trial firmware. And he updated everything and the problems went away. So, no, there isn't a problem with the Windows update and the SSD drives. Stop thinking about it. Stop worrying about it. And if you still are in the no, 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 it has to be a Windows update, then I don't know why you have a PC because, you know what, you'll never be happy with anything. Um, the thing is, um, is that, yes, it could happen that a, an update changed something, and because of the flawed firmware, it triggered the problems that a, a firmware, a test firmware, can create. The firmware had issues, and it was just a question of time before something changed and then suddenly problems arise. Everybody does like, oh, well, I went to Linux because Linux never does anything like that. Please don't make me laugh. Linux has tons of problems too. And this could have happened on Mac. It could have happened on Linux. It could have happened everywhere. It's just a, uh, there's more chances that it happens in Windows simply by the sheer number of PCs. So it's, you know what? all the way. Um, I didn't fall for the hype. I asked the question at the beginning. This is the way it works here on this channel. Asking questions, looking around, seeing what people post in the comments. Um, you know, if I was uh, really that, uh, that uh, bad in these uh, videos, um, you know, I would block comments. I don't. Uh, you probably all could see that your comments went through, whether you like it or not, whether you you know, told me I'm wrong, whether you told me whatever you want to tell me. Uh, the only thing I don't let go through is personal attacks. That is unacceptable. But your point of view is, of course, always welcome. And I'm sure there's going to be more here about, well, you know, this is, you know, this, this is untrue. Uh, so um, I will share this is the article uh, from the Verge, um, Windows 11 SSD issues blame on reviewers using early versions of firmware. And all of those that had the problem, well, that's what was happening. And if you have a PC that's a PC with uh, purchase from a big manufacturer that was already all pre-installed and done, those PCs all have finished firmware. They don't have that issue. They don't have those issues. The majority of people that have the issues are people that either built their own PC or purchased by themselves SSD drives. And uh, it is known that it's certain controllers that are in many different models of uh, solid state drives 
that are to blame. And there are tons of comments of people talking about problems they have with their SSDs and Windows that are even not even uh, due to the problem we're talking about here. Uh, but they all jump on the bandwagon. Oh, well, I knew it. It's, you know, especially those that said, well, I've been having that problem for months. Yeah, well, better look at the stuff you have because you, there's a problem with your PC. So, nope, not Windows, not Windows Update. And uh, even Jace 2 cents had to say that after he updated his firmware. So this is why I don't jump on the hype. And for those that say, well, you know, you're pretentious, you're not going to see other videos, that's why I don't go see videos. Because I make up my own mind with all the data and all the stuff that I look at. And then make the videos that what I think is right. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.